Business Cafe. Tonight we're doing, right over here, camera person. This is Cafe on the menu. We have tacos, burritos, Mexi rice, guac, and a little dessert. Seeing as we're doing Mexican food, I thought, hey, why do just one beer of the week? Why not do three? In this order. On the disc scale, let's see what we got here. I'm guessing maybe a 90 for Dos Equis Amber, an 86 on the Modelo, and sorry Corona fans, I'm going to have to give you an 82 on the Corona. I have to give that one to someone else. Cheers. I'm going to take some grapeseed oil, pour it over my car cooked rice. Just a little bit there, you want to coat the rice with the oil. Throw it in the oven, brown it up a little bit before we add the liquid part to this. Saute it off some peppers and onions, a little bit of garlic, maybe add a little two tall toms in there. Gonna make the puree for our rice. We have our tomato puree here. You can use canned tomatoes, I got fresh tomatoes here. Just gonna add that in. We're gonna add it to our rice and then we'll cook it in the oven. So you add your puree to your rice. Usually with rice you do two cups of water or liquid to one cup of rice. I do a little bit less when I do Mexi rice, it'll come out a little firmer. So we got about three cups of rice and I did about five cups of puree. If you're going to cook rice in the oven, what I usually do is I'll cover it with film and then cover it with foil. In the oven. I'm going to check it out about half an Alrighty, hour. i got my chicken breasts here, along with chicken thighs. Two parts thighs, one part chicken breast. I'm going to add a little garlic in there. A little chili powder. Yeah, the easiest way to do avocados. I quarter them after I take the pit out. Just slide your fingers underneath the skin and bam. You can see what you got right there. So we got our avocados, tomatoes, jalapenos, put a little lime in there, and a little cilantro, and we'll be all set with our guacamole. We only want to use the leaves of the cilantro. That's not as fine as you can. Every once in a while you can take a shortcut. It's allowed. Old El Paso taco for your ground beef, for your tacos and your burritos. It's easy, it's a package, it's water, it's ground beef. Gonna be fine. Chicken coming out of the oven. Like I said, if you cook it long enough, it should just shred right apart. Drain the water out of it. Stock, that is. Now we're gonna wrap up our burritos. Take a little bit of your protein, in this case the ground beef I made with the taco seasoning. Some people like to put a little beans in there. We're going to forego that. Maybe put a little cheese in like that. Wrap the sides up. Pull it down. Wrap it in. Roll it. You get yourself a nice little burrito. Got your burritos here. Just going to put my enchilada sauce. Slash burrito sauce. Just a red sauce. Once again, you can cheap out and do what I did and bought this is Chi Chi's. Nothing says American Mexican food like cheese. I get the feeling we use it way more in Mexican food than the Mexicans do, but I love cheese. 